Hey everyone, this is a video tutorial for how to make a great dodecahedron. The first thing you're going to need are 20 of these subunits here. The way that you make those is you start off with six stacked rings of 16 magnets and you flatten them out and cut them up into three edge pieces. You can attach those edge pieces together out here at the ends and bend them around so all three are contacting and then bend them up and then using a chain you can remove these three magnets in the middle just like that and then you can slide one of these legs over until it looks like that and now you want to bend these down until, oh, well it already happened because it'll look like this at first, but you bend them down until these three magnets in the middle touch together, just like that. And then you want to remove two magnets from this end and four magnets from this long end. And then they will all be equal. And that's how you build the subunit, and you need 20 of them. Now, also, you're going to need 54 stacked rings of 28. So 28 magnets per ring and 54 rings in stacks. You're also going to need 12 pentagons and you're going to need 12 rings of 7 and you're going to need 6 rings of 14. Um, but you don't need these until the end, so I'm going to go ahead and set them aside. Um, and the first thing you want to do is take these, and you're going to use these to make an icosahedron frame. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten them out and cut them up into edge pieces, or at least some of them for now. Okay. And I'm going to show you the way that these attach together um, at first on a small scale. Then I'll go ahead and build the whole thing up. So you go ahead and attach these edge pieces together on the corners, and you're going to be building up an icosahedron frame. But this will be the outside of the frame, and this is the underside, and this will be the inside. And here on the inside, what you're going to do with these is this will fit right into each one of these corners just like that and it should click in nice and securely on all three of these corners just like that and that's how you're eventually going to have the whole shape um, for now though i'm going to build up about half of an icosahedron around this one with this face being the bottom Okay, and that's about half of an icosahedron frame. And while you have it here, uh, these three bottom corners are incomplete. So you should go ahead and take three of your 12 pentagons and attach them down there to complete these corners um, by attaching them like that. And do that to all three corners down there. and that will help to keep those corners strong. And now what you want to do is go ahead and attach more of these to the triangles that are complete and you want to work from the bottom up because it's easiest that way.
Okay, and now you are at this point. And the next thing you're going to want to do is add some more uh, edge pieces onto the icosahedron. And at this point, you want to add all the rest of them. And you'll notice that because I only said 54 rings rather than 60, the uh, top three will be missing, but that's intentional. So go ahead and add all these on. Okay, and now some more corners are complete, six of them, so you should go ahead and add pentagons on. Okay, and now you want to go ahead and add these pieces on to the six new triangles you've created. Okay, and so now you are down to four of these, and this is where th these last four are pretty tricky to get attached, um, but the best way that I've found to do it is this. You take these um, 12 stacked rings of seven that I mentioned earlier, and you cut them up into double stacks and hold on a second, into double stacks and you make very short long straight pieces that you use to complete all three of these corners. So you just take them and attach them together and complete each corner so it looks like that. So do that to all three corners and also add pentagons on top. Okay, now that you have that, you can attach three of these down on these three uh, triangles that are surrounding the very top one. Um, because you do have to have all three corners to be complete, but you wouldn't be able to fit it in if these edges were there. So that's why you do it this way. And these are, you have to be very careful with them because they do like to stick to stuff, but you can do it. Okay, and so now you have the three of these attached on. And the last thing that you need to do is attach the last one. And I think that the best way to get it in here is to bend it down like this. And then put it in. And then let it pop back to its to the way it's supposed to be. So, and you, this may take several tries to get it right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay, and so now the last one of these is in, and it can be tricky to get it to attach, but it's definitely possible. 
And so lastly, all you need are these uh, three uh, edge pieces that are made out of stacks of 14. And so you can go ahead and cut them up into long straight pieces and attach them across each of these edges. Just like that. And do that to all three edges. And there you go. That is a great dodecahedron. Um, most of the process is simple, but that last part right at the end is pretty challenging to do without having stuff just stick to itself. Um, but anyway, that's how you do it. I guess I will smash it now.